we're going to talk to you about how drugs alter our consciousness, good and bad. Wait, they, drugs can change the way your mind works? Yes, they can. Good and bad? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm confused. Can you explain it to me, please? We'll explain it to them, too. Okay. Okay. First up is depressants. Like being sad? No, a depressant is a type of drug that lowers neurotransmission levels. It reduces arousal and stimulation in a person's brain. Oh, I see what you mean. They can also be, refer be referred to as downers because they decrease your motivation and decrease the neuro, neuro levels in your brain. Yes, that's correct. Some examples of depressants include alcohol, opioids, and opiates. Are you good? Who the hell are you? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> this is an example of impulsive behavior. <laughs> Alcohol is the all-purpose medicine you can buy without a prescription. It is a relief from anxiety, depression, or loneliness that you can swallow in public without criticism. No drug has been so abused as alcohol. About four college students die each day from alcohol-related causes. High doses of alcohol have a sedative effect, which is why alcohol is classified as a depressant. Alcohol impairs cognitive functioning, slurs the speech, and impairs coordination. Binge drinking, defined as having five or more drinks in a row for a male, or four or more for a female, is connected with aggressive behavior, poor grades, sexual promiscuity, and accidents. Nevertheless, nearly half of college men and three in ten college women binge at least twice a month. Regardless of how or why one starts drinking, regular drinking can lead to physiological dependence. People are then motivated to drink to avoid withdrawal symptoms. Still, even when alcoholics are dried out, many return to drinking. Perhaps they still want to use alcohol as a way of coping with stress or as an excuse for failure. Okay, now we're going to talk about stimulants. Stimulant is a very broad term that covers many drugs that increase activity of the central nervous system. Uh, that includes increase of blood pressure, heart rate, activity, and brain activity. Examples of stimulants would be amphetamines, cocaine, nicotine, and caffeine. Caffeine is a stimulant, which means it increases activity in your brain and nervous system. It also increases the circulation of chemicals such as cortisol and adrenaline in the body. In small doses, caffeine can make you feel refreshed and focused. In large doses, caffeine can make you feel anxious and have difficulty sleeping. Like many other drugs, it is possible to develop a tolerance to caffeine, which means you need bigger and bigger doses to achieve the same effect. Over time, you may become physically and psychologically dependent on caffeine to function effectively. If you are dependent on caffeine and you stop having it, you may experience withdrawal symptoms, such as fatigue, crankiness, persistent headache, sweating, muscle pain, and anxiety. Symptoms of caffeine withdrawal may begin within 12 to 24 hours and can last about seven days. The last thing I want to talk about is hallucinogens. Oh, I know about that one. You do? Yeah, it's basically when you eat a mushroom or bad food and you start seeing stuff around you that isn't real, right? Um, yeah, right. You're partly right, I guess. The real definition is a psychoactive agent that often or originally causes hallucinogens. For receptacle anomalies and other um, irrational changes in thoughts, feelings, and actions. Oh, okay. Do you see that? There's nothing there. There's <laughs> definitely people walking through the wall right there. Like, uh, I think you're the same, bro. I don't know. I might be tripping. LSD, a synthetic hallucinogen, users claim it expands consciousness and opens up new worlds to them. Some say they have achieved great insight while using the drug, but when it wears off, they cannot apply or recall them. LSD produces vivid, colorful hallucinations. Some LSD users may have flashbacks of distorted perceptions of hallucinations that mimic the LSD trip but occur days, weeks, or longer after usage. Following extensive use of LSD, the brain may fail to inhibit certain internal sources of vision-like experiences. Regular use of hallucinogens may lead to tolerance and psychological dependence, but hallucinogens are not known to create physiological dependence. High doses may impair coordination, cloud judgment, change in mood, and cause frightening hallucinations and paranoid delusions. The last thing on our list is 
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'm Anna and this is Bailey and today we're gonna to talk to y'all about how we're Stop is depressing. That's our video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Is this thing on? Word. <laughs> so what we get drunk. So what we don't sleep. We're just having fun. We don't care who sees. So what we go out.